today I'm going to be doing a makeup routine, my full face coverage, um, and so today I'm going to start with putting on this um, hair wrap, it's by the brand Cool Enough Studio, my mom got this for me when she went to Taiwan. It just keeps my hair out of the way. So um, don't mind me if I'm like reaching over because this is where I have all my makeup. And if you want to see like a what's my makeup storage setup, then like this video and I will do one of those. Um, so by starting off, I like to prime my face with Daily Moisturizer by Aveeno. Um, I just do a little bit, rub it in. Oh, also I'm looking at my mirror, so don't mind me. I'm like looking over here. Okay. And then, so these are the brushes that I use. They're from e.l.f. Um, I believe I got them on sale when they were having their like half off sale. I got them for like 12 bucks, I think. Um, and I recently just picked up this brush. It's by Real Techniques. It's like one of their like hairbrush looking kind of brushes, but I love this and I highly recommend it. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade Warm Nude, it's number 128. I'm also like at the end of my bottle, so I have to like turn it upside down and let it all like run out, so. You can tell that I use this on a daily basis. So I just kinda, I'm in no means a beauty guru, so I'm really sorry if like I'm using these products wrong and like, you know, beauty gurus are cringing at me. But I just do it how I know and this is how I've been doing it for like four, five years probably. Well, I started doing makeup probably when I was like entering high school, so that was like probably like eight years ago, but I definitely didn't know what I was doing then. All right. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in number 120 Classic Ivory. It looks like this and I've hit pan because I use it every day. I'm gonna need to do a Ulta haul soon, probably. Or an Ulta run, and then do a haul. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. Sorry, I didn't film with my iPhone, so it doesn't always like um, focus. This is actually a new product for me, but I just use it as like a highlighter kind of thing. Someone at Sephora taught me how to do this actually. Um, the like triangles under the eyes. But I learned this like contour type thing from actually a Tarte video. Um, I don't even know if it's like made for my face. Sorry. Um, I'm using the Mineral Stick Foundation in the color Caramel by NYX like this and this was like how I found out about this like rolly stick kind of thing it was from that video so yeah it looks like this and then I'm just gonna use my real techniques brush and blend it out Next, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I think for today, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon Palette. And this is actually a contour brush, but I use it as an eyeshadow brush because it works really well. Um, so I think today, what I'm gonna do is use these three. And I like to make like a, I call it like a Neapolitan look. <laughs> so. I'm gonna start with Cashew Chew, which is this lighter one in the middle. And then I'm gonna go in with Almond Truffle. And then go in with Dark Truffle and like in the outer crease and kind of smudge it in. 
Then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. eyeliner in Jet Black in this liquid type. Um, this is like my favorite type of eyeliner. I don't really like to use pencil liner. I don't really like to use the like pen felt kind of um, eyeliner either. This is just my favorite go-to, the only type I'll use. this you have to like kind of like draw essentially and get into the crevices um, see what I mean like I can't really see the whites anymore all right so next moving on to eyebrows um, I'm using this pencil I'm not really sure the brand um just because my mom got it for me from Taiwan uh, if I can find the brand, I'll link it in the bar below. I the eyeliner to dry first before I do mascara. So I got this um, from Ulta for my birthday gift, and it's the Superhero uh, Mascara in Super Black by the brand IT or IT. I'm not really sure. I never bought anything from this product, but for this from this brand. But I really love this mascara. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do. Um, I can't really tell you why. It just like really like makes it voluminous. Really like you know, just I, I don't know. So yeah, that's done. And then that's pretty much everything. I just need to do a little contour, and that's it. So I don't normally, if I'm like really like pressed on time, then I'll skip this step. But if I'm not, then I like to do it. So I use I use my Lorac Pro uh, or Contour Pore <laughs> my Lorac Contour Pro palette for contouring. Um, I actually got this on sale as well. So it comes with a brush. Um, and what I like to do is I take yellow highlight and I'll just. Kind of go here. Why? I don't really know. I just do. Um, yeah. It does come with like a little like instruction palette or instruction booklet on how to contour, but I lost it. So I just kind of do what I like to do. Um, and then I'll take medium contour and I'll go in here. okay if it looks a little messy and then I take light contour which is this one and I'll go here, here. I know it, it looks crazy don't worry and then I go in with my real Tiffany's brush and I will just buff it out finally I'll go in with my Tardius Pro Glow palette by Tarte with my fan brush from elf and I will do a little highlight I love this palette to death I've hit pan on like three <laughs> So, you know it gets its use. And today I'm going to go in with Stunner, which is this one. So, this is the final look. I just curled my hair real quick. Um, I wanted, like, kind of a loose, beachy waves look. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button for more videos. Bye.